and I answer questions. Okay, is there somebody here who can answer questions? I don't answer questions. Okay, I don't really know how to respond to that, sir. You got anything you want to say about that? I don't answer questions. Would you mind telling us why? I don't answer questions. Okay. Yes, sir. Are you, uh, the mayor? I am indeed. Uh huh. Great. Um, I'm coming in today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard about the incident last night. Mm -mm. Okay, so it's 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 real bad. Okay, mm -hmm. so basically, I'm a, a citizen journalist. Uh -huh. I go around. I look for uh, government abuse, uh, misapplication of rights, stuff like that. I was down here at the uh, local health department. Okay, um, I was inside. I was filming. I've been doing this three years all over the country, so I'm well familiar with the laws. Uh, the ladies got upset that I was there. I tried to tell them that, hey, somebody from the state health department sent everybody an email in October telling them to allow me into the public lobbies to record. They didn't want to hear about it, so they called the, the police here. There was a deputy chief that, that came up there. Now, it was closing time, so I had gone outside the building, and I don't, I don't know if you knew the new health department. By the way, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice-looking building. Yeah. Uh, but I was beside the door. They have the windows there, right? And I was just standing there on the sidewalk recording through the windows. The deputy chief comes up, uh, an older black gentleman. I didn't get his name, but I'll need that before I leave today because I, I brought a notice of intent to sue. And um, it, it was insane. It literally insane. Like... I've never met an officer, and I've, I've got over a thousand interactions, like I said, all over the country with officers. I've never met an officer that misquoted the law as much as this gentleman did. Like, he is a huge liability to the city here. Uh, again, I'm already getting ready to sue, but... Um, What's your basis for the suit? Uh, okay, uh, prior restraint. He threatened me with arrest to shut off my camera. Um, he kicked me off uh, public property for filming, which is a violation of my First Amendment rights in the state of South Carolina. Trespass statute don't apply to public property, state versus Annapol. Okay. He also threatened me with arrest if I didn't show my actual physical ID, which is not required in any state. All that's needed is name and date of birth. Okay. Then he, he follows me over to my vehicle. And luckily he didn't do this, but he told me that he was going to search my vehicle because I was creating a disturbance in the public building. So you'll see the video. Um, a lot of people see the video. I, I got 80,000 subscribers. It's, it's, it's going to so be what, bad. I'm confused. What was your intent? Why were you there? Uh, my intent is to just go to public buildings, uh -huh. public areas of public buildings, and make sure that they don't violate my rights. That's it. Just All right. Exercising my rights, yes, right to free press. I have a press pass. I still have my press pass. I actually, and, and this is interesting, I, I always bring this. I'll let you look it over real quick. I highlighted just the important parts, but I showed this to the deputy chief. He didn't want to take a look at it, but this is from the, the Department of Justice from the Civil Rights Division. It's what's called a guidance letter, and it's to the Baltimore Police Department about an incident where a gentleman was uh, recording. And it basically goes over the laws of people recording in public. Um, like I said, you don't have to read the whole thing. If you just flip through it, I've got so stuff you're, highlighted. You're, you're Christopher Sharp? No, that's, that's not me. That's not me. Like I said, it's just a guidance letter from, uh -huh. the, from the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice to the police department telling them how they should respond to people that are filming. Um, so what, I'm still confused. Why were you there? Just to film? Just to film. That's all I do. And I was in Hampton yesterday, and I was in Waltersboro yesterday. And so what I do is I come to an area. Um, I find the public buildings. Uh, I go through, and I record. And that's it. I remain quiet. I don't obstruct business. Like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I actually have three lawsuits in southern Alabama right now for for conduct just like this i've got i had like eight lawsuits in florida which i won about half of those so it's a very serious matter and and again and uh, this is how you make your living 
Uh, n no, I actually have a job. I've worked at the same job for 16 years and I run a small business. This is, it's a civic duty. Keeping, in a free society, citizens have to keep an eye on their government. Mm -hmm. So. What, what led you to, to our town? Uh, well, I was in Waltersboro yesterday, and um, yeah, and I saw Hampton was close by. So here, let me let me give you an example. Um, I'll show you because, like I said, I've been doing this for three years, so I I go all around. So okay, so this is the Southeast United States. Mm -hmm. And the green dots are everywhere I've been. That blue dot, that's where we're at now. Mm -hmm. So you can see I'm right in the middle of everywhere where I need to be. So as you can see, a lot of this area I haven't covered before. Where is Charleston? Mm -hmm. And I've been all through the great state of South Carolina. Like I said, I, I've never been treated like this. You'll, you'll see. It, it, it's bad. Um and then, yeah, I was in Waltersboro yesterday, so I'm like, hey, let me shoot on over here to Hampton. I, I didn't even know about Varnville. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I didn't know that the health department was in Varnville. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't like I was like, hey, you know, Varnville. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, again. Um, so he didn't write you a ticket or anything? No. No, he, he doesn't have to. All he has to do is threaten me with arrest for providing ID when I've broken no law, and that's a violation. So. What is your intent here today? Uh, well, my intent here today is I'm going to file that intent of notice to sue. Um, I'm going to give that to the chief. He's on his way in. Uh -huh. I've already talked to the chief on the phone. Um, and to drop off some uh, training material, because that's, uh -huh. that's part of my settlement and the... Um, the right to uh, the intent to sue. I'm sorry, let me block the door here. Um, so that's part of that is to drop off the training. Um, I also have the email at the Department of Health stating that yes, he's allowed in the common lobbies of the area. Leave him alone. What, what time of the day was it? Uh, this was just at closing. It was like 4.50, 4.55. And like I said, I knew they were closing so I stepped outside of the building. I stood on the public sidewalk right there, recorded, and, and, and it's horrible. I mean, literally, the guy misquoted every law in South Carolina. He said I was harassing the ladies. I said, well, a harassment has to be a pattern, a series of events. No, it don't. Read the statute. He said, do you have ID? I said, well, I don't have ID on me. I can give you my name and date of birth. Oh, no, the statute requires a physical ID. Uh, if you don't give me the physical ID, I'm going to arrest you. I mean, it, it, was, it was horrible. Are you familiar with any of this, Chief? Uh, I talked. Oh, just the chief. I, yeah, I talked to him this morning. Oh, you did. Yeah. Who was the officer? It was the deputy chief. It said deputy chief right there was an older black gentleman. I asked him if he had a supervisor. He said he was the only. He was the supervisor. Oh, right? well, sure. Um, it, like I said, it was four fifty five, four fifty eight. His name was Mike. The yeah, ladies yeah. called him Mike. That's all I got. Oh, Mike. Well, you do what you have to do, serve your notices or what have you. Everything yeah. has to be in writing. Okay. Yeah, 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 I've got it over there. I just didn't know his name, so I couldn't fill it out. So, You got, you got uh, a business card? Or? Uh, I gave him a business card. I have one in my car that I can run out and grab for you. This is my this is my press pass that I use. Now, again, in the United States, press passes are required. I made this myself. Oops, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you there. Um, so, and again... Um, like I said, I'm, I didn't, I'm not out to cause trouble. I didn't want to cause trouble. So today, what I was going to do is drop off my notice, give you guys the evidence, the documentation that I said I would provide, and then I would like to, and you guys might want to go with me or, or go over there, but I'd like to go back to the health department, finish my recording, and then be on my way. Um, and again, I have all the documentation from the health department that says I'm allowed to be there. Um, I mean, this, this stuff is really, it's... Legally, it's common sense. Well, I'm still, can you, can you, I'm confused about your intent. Can you, can you, can you get the, the card or the, the, the business card? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll run and grab that. I'm going to leave my, my right, stuff right, right up here. I got my camera and stuff. Okay. Can, can I go out this yes, sir. You're gonna, you're authorized exit? Come back to the right there. Okay.
I'll give you one too, Mr. Mayor. What's your name? Um, my legal name is George Metz, but my media name is Major Lee Awesome. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's what I, I usually get. Now my intent, uh, Mr. Mayor, again, is just to practice my rights without being harassed or without being, um, you know, abused. Um, it's the same thing if, a, if, I don't know if it's open carry here. Is it open carry in South Carolina? Yes, yeah, sir. What state are you from? I'm from Florida. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's the same if someone's open carrying their gun. They're just exercising their rights. They don't expect to be harassed, intimidated, threatened with arrest. Yeah. We're not going to harass you if we don't harass in time of But if you go back up there, you want to come back up there. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me fill this out. Um, and then, um, and I, I got Mike, but I need his last name. Um, it's Officer Michael Smith. Michael Smith. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, is there a city clerk I could leave it with, or could I leave you it? Leave it with me. Okay. 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 Great. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it with you. Is Ms. Jones in there? We can leave yeah. It with me. It, it, now let me make it clear. It's it's not a legal document. It doesn't have to be served by the court. It's just me saying that if you don't resolve this, I will sue. Okay. Now I've only requested a thousand dollars in training. Okay. If I do take it to court, as you know, it's going to cost you five to ten thousand dollars to defend against it, even if I lose. Okay, and I have no problem doing a story for the residents, saying, "Hey, they had an opportunity to resolve this, and and they decided to waste more taxpayers' dollars." So, um, I'll leave that up to you, gentlemen, what you would like to do. All right, I'll get that done, and then we'll get we'll get out of here. Okay, that's that. Now, part of the training, um, and again, this will cost you guys nothing, literally. I brought the guidance letter from the United States Department of Justice mm -hmm. Civil Rights Division. Okay, all they have to do is be familiar with this stuff right here. I always bring my own copy, which uh, Mr. Smith didn't look at, but it, here's an example. Okay. Baltimore PD should clarify that the right to record public officials is not limited to streets and sidewalks. It includes areas where individuals have a legal right to be present, including an individual's home or business, and common areas of public and private facilities and buildings. All right, this is stuff that every officer should know. BDP should instruct officers not to threaten, intimidate, or otherwise discourage an individual from recording police officer enforcement activities or intentionally block or obstruct cameras or other recording devices. Now he told me to shut my camera off yesterday. That's called prior restraint. Yeah, I mean, it's all there. Um, so that, and then this right here, if you wanna look it over real quick, just so you know that what I'm saying about the DH, uh, DHEC is legal. Um, that's the email that Marcus sent out in October. Now what happened was I was in Spartanburg South Carolina, and I was at a health department there, and a, uh, a gentleman, an IT worker, pushed me out of the building, mm -hmm. like literally pushed me out of the building, and so, as you can see, they got an unprecedented amount of phone calls, and, uh, and that generated the email the next day saying that if I'm in the common lobbies, leave me alone, don't call police if I'm not, you know, uh, in restricted areas or obstructing business. I mean, again, this is this is this should really be common stuff. I mean, no privacy in public. Um, you know, where the public's allowed, the press is allowed. All this is, should be common, common knowledge. Thank you, sir. All right, and here's this. Let me make sure I leave this for you. Yeah, this is yours. And again, that that's all the training that I would require them to do in order to satisfy my intent.
right. You know, it's 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 cheap, it's easy, it's something they should know anyway. All right. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. And um Thanks, sir. And your name's sir Tyrone. Yes, sir. Okay, great. And uh Mayor, you are I, I wanna say Nat because I saw that somewhere, but it, Nathan, right? Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. Shake your hand, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you for uh taking the time to listen to me. I don't know if it'll do any good, but it, it's always nice. Um, I'm going to head back over to the health department if you want to give them a call or let them know or send an officer by to make sure that they're okay and they're calm. I'm going to go into the common lobbies. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, did you guys get that figured out from yesterday? I went ahead and printed out that email from the state, from uh, Marcus in Columbia. I also just got done with the mayor and the chief of police here in Varnville. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew it was okay for me to video the common lobby. You can video the lobby as long as there's nobody in here. It doesn't say that. You want to clarify that with your state? I can clarify that. I can pull a policy for you. Okay. Someone who I can't see anybody in there. Sir, I don't need you to be smart. I'm just trying to say. I, I'm just saying I can't see anybody in there. And that's okay, but there's a client in here, so I have to ask you to not video and or either go outside. I, I think you should call Marcus at the state before. I can call Marcus. Go ahead. Please do. I'm, I'm asking you to. The, the, I've already talked with the police. They know everything I'm doing is legal. Ma'am. You cannot do it if there is a client in the waiting area. No, that, that, that's incorrect. If you're talking about HIPAA specifically, HIPAA only applies if I could see the person and I get an identifying information like name, birthday, social security, Sir, that sort of stuff. You can video if there is no one in the lobby. If there are people in the area, you cannot video. Uh, okay, it doesn't, doesn't say that anyway. I just told you it's not. You can tell me it's not, but it is. Oh, okay. Call Marcus. Let him let him tell you. I'll wait. Can you tell me the purpose of y'all doing this? To make sure people don't violate our rights. To violate your rights. Make sure people don't violate our rights. Okay. I'm still gonna ask you to listen. Duly noted. The chief of police just walked in. He's over there if you want to talk with him. We good, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. You know, and, and it's what's funny is you guys will see the video yesterday and everything, but... In contrast, because I put up the good videos too, right. you're going to see Colton County Health Department. I walked into the lobby. I was there two to three minutes. The ladies were pleasant. I left. No issue. Mm -hmm. Colton. Colton, right next door. Yeah. I mean, it's night and day. All right. Night and day. day. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for right. upholding your oath and respecting my rights, guys. See you.
Hello? Ma'am, that, that email was just to show you. I, I wasn't giving it to you. If I could get that back. I'll, I'll keep it. Okay. Do you guys know we're okay to be in the lobby now? With people in it? With Marcus, you're going to have to see if I can be in here with people in the lobby? Is that what you're saying? All I can do is laugh. <laughs> <laughs> could, could, could you take a copy of it and give me back the original? You don't have another copy? I, I don't. I mean, I, I have the email, but... I'm going to read it real quick. Yeah, no, go ahead. Now she's going to read it. <laughs> Not before she threw a fit, though, huh? Contact information here. Although this is the, um, this is the Hampton County, Hampton County Health Department. Phone number should be online if you Google it. Let these folks know how you feel about, uh, about their professional behavior. Where are you going next? Uh, I, I'm actually going home, back down to Florida. I, you know, I told the officers that just left here. I was in Colton County Health Department yesterday. Where? Colton, Col Colleton, next door. Waltersboro. I, I walked through the lobby two, three minutes. Ladies were very pleasant with me. I ended up leaving. Two to three minutes. No problem. No issues. If you're wondering, the email was because of me in Spartanburg, South Carolina. One of the employees pushed me out of the building. Okay. All right. Thank you, ladies. You have a blessed day. Yep. Have a good day, sir. Yep.